I'm State Representative Barbara Bailey. Thank you for joining me from our state capitol. On a personal note, I'd like to begin by offering my heartfelt condolences to the people of Japan. The images and stories coming from Japan, a country that has close ties to our state, are truly sad. I continue to pray for the rescue and recovery efforts there and hope that further dev uh, devastation can be averted. Today is St. Patrick's Day, also the opening day of the NCAA tournament. Normally this is a uh, pretty energetic time in our state capital, but the mood is a little more subdued this year. Today our state received its quarterly revenue forecast and the news is not good. While this report did show that our economy is slowly improving, unfortunately it also revealed that our state tax collections are underperforming. This means that our state budget shortfall is now more than $4 billion. This situation will, will require major decisions from lawmakers in the last five weeks of the legislative session. I've said this repeatedly, and it carries a greater sense of urgency today, that we need to reset, reform, and reshape government so that what is meant by that, first, resetting government means setting priorities, similar to what your family and my family and businesses have done uh, through these tough times. I continue to believe that the priorities of government are education, public safety, and the protection of our most vulnerable citizens. Reforming government, that means consolidating state agencies while eliminating others like the state printer. Uh, it means reducing or eliminating costly programs such as the general assistance unemployable sometimes known as the uh, GAU. Finally, reshaping government means asking state employees to pay more for their health care, contracting out services, and funding other private sector solutions that save money. The bottom line is this. Every corner of state government needs to be scrutinized, and the end result must be efficiencies and savings. Additionally, I want to emphasize that it's not just about reducing the size of state government. In fact, the other part of the equation is increasing the size of our state economy. The best way to create more revenue for the state is to strengthen our economy. If we can get more people back working again, it will also ease the pressure on our safety nets. We must use this crisis as an opportunity to address the long-standing concerns of our employers. I'm happy to report the legislature has already passed unemployment insurance reforms. These bills have been signed into law and will give certainty and, re and rate relief to our employers. Now, it's time to pass the workers' compensation reforms. In Senate Bill 5566, and from there we need to eliminate permitting, bureaucracy, and other red tape that act as barriers to job growth for our small businesses. These are all bills that have been introduced and are ready to be acted on, and I invite you to contact me if you'd like more details. It's an honor to be your state representative. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to learn about your citizen legislature. Please contact me if you have any ideas to share or if you would like to receive my e-newsletters. Uh, my information will be provided below. In closing, uh, whoever you may be rooting for for the next few weeks, good luck on your NCAA brackets. I'm State Representative Barbara Bailey. Go out and make it a great day.